Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We might have just experienced the wildest weekend on FC25 so far. We had five Evos in two days, a 25,000 coin SBC that is taking over the midfield of almost everybody's team on this game, and now the biggest market crash that we have seen so far in FC25, all caused by a whole host of issues, including that surprise icon pack that we had yesterday that not too many people expected. We're going to talk a lot about the market today but also look into today on monday what's going to happen to the market are prices going to keep going down or will there be opportunities to see some prices rise but yet again the hero pack comes back again today more movements especially on the fodder market that we have to talk about as well as maybe upgrade packs coming today too if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you are new. Hey guys, quick update from me here. I'm sure you've heard of creator codes in other games, right? Well, EA is doing that for FC25. You can use the QR code on the screen or the link in the description and directly support me when you purchase FC25. Using the EA app, just use code the foot accountant. And if you're on the PlayStation Store, using my direct link will automatically support me as a creator. And also, if you look at the PlayStation Store, FC25 Ultimate Edition is 25% off until the end of the month. So you can support me and get a deal if you're still looking to pick up the game. Back to the video. Now, let's get into yesterday's content first by going to the way that content dropped yesterday because, of course, we mentioned the time change in Europe, and with that, there were some mistakes. Firstly, an hour before the 6 p.m. content dropped yesterday, EA released an Evo mode called Dribbling Maestros. It's out for only a couple of days. There's no excuse me, objective that is tied to this or anything like that. But I would assume, I haven't played it, but usually when they drop these other rush modes, there's extra um, rush points inside of this if you're trying to complete some objectives like the weekly objectives. Overall, max 90 skill moves, minimum three star. Nothing super crazy about that. But that is kind of something that we have to mention because it was a big issue yesterday and it's probably going to carry into this week at least a little bit. Maybe some SBCs and some timers and countdowns since there's so many of those throughout this game that end an hour early or something drops an hour early earlier than normal because of the time change issues. I would imagine something today like that would be mixed up at some point too. So that was the first thing that we had an hour before the 6 p.m. content drop. And then at 6 p.m., let's talk about SBCs first. We had a player SBC. We'll get to that icon pack in a second. Don't worry. We had the leaked player SBC of Jonathan David finally released yesterday after a few days of being leaked. And uh, honestly, Hey, this is a striker, like a striker's striker card. He's got false nine plus plus, poacher plus, advanced forward plus as well. The five star weak foot, the first touch. He's got power shot and he's got finesse with quick step and Trivella. So he can score. He's got good stats. It's just a good card. Just a good card. I really don't have too much else to say about this, except it's just a good card. First Touch Plus is nice if you like using those ping passes. The links are a little bit rough, but again, it's one of those SBCs that says 75,000 coins, but it's going to be, I mean, pretty easy to get done. It does require uh, three Team of the Weeks, which is slightly annoying. I feel that. Some of the Team of the Week requirements, good for investors, not the best if you're trying to get one of these SBCs done. So 75,000 coins for that, I think, is maybe a bit steep, but if you want to get it done, that is a nice SBC. There, an absolute complete finisher of a striker is what we'll call him. We also had the tr uh, Trailblazers Challenge 2 yesterday, premium Electrum Players Pack. Nothing super crazy going on here. Uh, it's all around FC Barcelona, and you have to have no Barcelona players in it, but there is kind of a block up here in the top right that is... I think that's one of the first that we've seen this year in the game, actually, if I can be uh, correct on that and say that. I think that's one of the first SBC blocks that we've seen, at least that I've seen so far this year. And so you kind of have to build around that with the chemistry. Decent pack, not too crazy. Now, before we talk about the biggest SBC that happened yesterday, let's go to Evolutions, guys, and talk about... A really big Evo, to be honest. Guys, we've had a lot of Evos, right? But this one is a paid Evo that's got a lot of left backs on the market down bad because it gives a really interesting stat upgrade. It's all about Bum Pastora. Of course, if you've used her card in the past last year, she had a couple insane cards. Um, she's very attacking as a item in this game, and that is what this Evo is kind of based around. You have to do some, was it play three, play four, win four, and then you also have to win two matches while conceding one goal or less. So that's very interesting. Uh, but you get whipped pass, dead ball plus, and incisive pass play styles along with attacking wing back 
plus plus and there are some big name cards that fit into this Udogi is one of them Nuno Menge and probably you've seen it Furland Mendy this Seth Sinyon card is really interesting for me I just finished evolving him he doesn't get the biggest of stat boosts all around but it's really interesting uh for the anticipate it's also I forgot to mention that you get anticipate you get a weak foot boost it's just a really a really a good evo it's not amazing it's good i think for seventy thousand coins it's maybe a little bit steep but it does give you a chance if you've got a card like this for len mendy in the club to upgrade him the thing that i don't like about this is the dead ball plus here's my problem with it if you take a look at Ferland mendy or udogi or these popular cards for this evolution you're getting dead ball plus but look at the free kick accuracy 57 free kick accuracy sure you might have the good animations but your free kick, 31 free kick accuracy for Balde. I mean, even he looks decent with this upgrade. It's just, it feels like the playstyle plus that is given here is a little bit useless. And if you're putting a playstyle plus on an Evo card at this stage of the game, it almost feels like you're going to set yourself up for not being able to evolve it again for a while. So if it's Furlan Mendy and you play an attacking style of play, so you really don't care about the playstyle plus as much, you like the other play styles that he's going to have, and you like the attacking wingback plus plus if you care about those roles. Um, he's got incisive. He's got whipped. He's got that anticipate that's added on block and rapid. I think it's a worthwhile upgrade if you've got him untradeable. But this one, again, it kind of fits a specific type of left back, that attacking type player. This Arsenis card looks pretty awesome with it as well, going up to 90 pace. But again, it just feels like for me, the... The dead ball plus is a bit of a letdown. I'll probably do either Yudogi or the Sessignon to keep the train going here um, and, and do somebody just fun in this one. Um, but yeah, it's kind of building you a specific player and not maybe somebody who's necessarily going to go into your most popular or most meta starting 11. Maybe it will if you have fairly many. But of course, there were crazy movements on the market yesterday. A lot of left back cards are up because of this. And since Furlan Mendy fits this, and so does Udogi, and so does Joe Gomez, and a lot of those cards that people use currently as a left back in the game. Left backs across the market are getting absolutely cooked. Like, take a look at this. You you throw in a market crash. I bought two Captivias at 220. He's coming back up, it looks like, slightly. But you throw in a market crash on top of a left back Evo, Captivia is down over 100,000 coins. Lisa Razu is another card. Left backs are getting absolutely cooked because of this Evo. So again, combination of the market crash and the Evo at the same time is really hurting some left back cards even some center back cards because people are putting gomez into this uh the califiore card ake is another really popular one that people were putting into this evolution as well you see that the double evo that you can get him to sure dead ball plus isn't great but 86 pace 84 defending and 78 physical um even as a center back that's a pretty sizable stat boost so this is a really big evo is it worth 70k i'm on the fence about it i'll maybe get it done 13 days to decide who you want to put into it but again it is so nice to have evolutions back fully fit and working in fc 25 now let's talk about that big sbc the icon pack makes max 88 base icon sbc this was a surprise it was leaked yesterday what was it like two or three hours before the content drop fifa romania tweeted out and said yo we're getting the icon pack today and fodder started to sky and the market started to drop of course as people were starting to prepare for this now this sbc is going to refresh on wednesday i believe but 85 86 86 and 87 rated squads three team of the weeks required Informs and fodder are going to the moon because this is the best icon pack that we've had so far and after opening a decent number of these on stream yesterday guys the weight was surprisingly decent now don't get me wrong there's a lot of fodder that's coming out of these shevchenko's and raquel Mays and verones and stuff like that but we did see some good polls yesterday a lot like we saw desai and blanc back to back um who do we else do we pack somebody got a gerard i think schweinsteiger was one of the polls that we had kuman was a decent poll um i think somebody maybe got a pirez week packed a closa and an, an Essien was probably the highlight of yesterday's polls. There was a lot of really, really solid polls. And with the way that the market is this year on these icons, sure, again, we're going to talk about the market crash today. Icons feel special again this year because of their price. You pack somebody like Closa, and in previous years, you're like, nah, man, that's mid. But Ariel Plus, this dude's been one of the most hyped cards at the start of this year as an icon item. Even Kuman, who's technically below the price of the SBC, that's still a really solid card that you could use as a center back or as a center defense. Well, he can't play CDM. You can only play center back. But he's got ball playing defender plus plus. He's got dead ball plus plus. And he actually has good free kick accuracy, 95. So 
Like, that's not a bad card, and it feels still at this stage of the game worth an attempt if you really want to send it. 360k, though, is the problem. But what do we say about these sorts of SBCs, right? The upgrade pack gamble type SBCs, when they are more expensive, oftentimes they have a bit better of a weight. So I'm on the fence of how I'm going to do this, when I'm going to do this. I need to get some champs games done so I can get some rewards before champs closes here in just a couple of hours after I'm recording this. Um, and that would really help my odds of getting this done because my fodder right now is kind of down bad. And especially with the market going down bad, spending coins while the market's going down is not really a great thing. But that's what a lot of people are doing because if you take a look at the fodder market, goodness, I know we talked about buying fodder yesterday. I was not expecting it to go up this fast. I don't really think that anybody was expecting to get that icon pack yesterday. One thing that we learned from yesterday, guys, is we got to pay attention a little bit closer to when EA add packs into the code because that max 88 icon pack code was added, like, what was it, a couple days ago, like on Thursday of last week or maybe even Friday is what it was, Friday morning. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's going to be next Wednesday, right? Because the Icon and Hero Pack's been coming out every Wednesday. Nope, new schedule. EA can always change things up. And that's part of the fun, but also part of the frustrating things of content. Well, yesterday with fodder, it ballooned. 86 rateds are at all now 11,000 coins. And some of them, I think, have price ranges that are like close. Some of them are at 16,000 coins. I thought some of the other ones had price ranges of like 12 to 13K. That might not be the case, but 86s are absolutely, yeah, 12K. Modric is almost extinct on the market, max price 12K. These cards are probably gonna go higher today. 85s were what? Almost 5,000 coins yesterday. They're 6.6K right now. Guys, I would imagine that some of these 85s, if you can get 85s right now, what are they? Like 6.3. If you can get them close to 6K, I think 85s are going to go higher today. A lot of people in the stream were asking yesterday and some of you guys as well, if you invested in fodder, I would still hold it because what you have for the rest of the week this week is more people like me thinking about going and doing this icon pack with the rewards that we get, with the coins we can build up, and you have the hero that is refreshing today. So there's just even more demand for that fodder. Again, remind this hero pack is 84, 85, and 86. And with the 87 requirement there, 87s could go up a bit more. I think 85s and 87s could rise a bit more. Um, maybe 88s a little bit too, but that's the situation on fodder. And here's one thing to remember too, is this is like the first really big, as we're going to talk about market crash of the year. But one of the more common things that you see on this game is it kind of goes in transition periods, right? The market for the past month has just been going up and up and up. Player prices just keep rising, rising, rising. All the icons, the heroes, the out of pack special cards, even some of the gold cards, right? They've just either started climbing up or they've maintained a pretty high price, especially the icons. So they've been climbing, climbing, climbing. But now we've seen a downturn on that. But why, right? It's because fodder is being required more. It's draining more coins. So it's kind of becoming, instead of like the meta markets going up, now the fodder market is going up. And this is, again, a really good time to be invested on that top tier. We haven't had any SBCs that have come out yet, but it's just a matter of time, guys. Again, I know it's dragging along before we get our first 88, 89 rated squads that really come out for a good player. We're still looking at high rated fodder that looks pretty low, but seeing fodder on this end go up so much gives me, again, the excitement of waiting for when this fodder is going to absolutely balloon, for when it also becomes in demand. So fodder, I think it's going to go even higher. If you want to go a little risky with it, I would go 85s and 87s on an investment, maybe a few 88s because I think those could rise more today because yet again, this week, this icon pack is going to refresh before Division Rivals rewards as well. If this is refreshing on Wednesday, that means there's going to be even more people getting fodder on Wednesday before Rivals to get this pack done. And that means fodder is just going to go even higher on Wednesday. And that's probably going to be the quote unquote best sell time, in my opinion. We'll see what else happens throughout the week. But that was honestly really crazy to see that happen yesterday. It was a shock. And that is one of the main reasons why the market is down as much as it is. Let's talk about the market crash, guys. I do want to start by going to the store because EA did release the 10 coin pack yesterday in the packs for you section. Some people were saying that they didn't see it. Um, and I don't know if that was because of the description of it. I didn't check. I just saw it and ripped it. But they also dropped the Talk the Talk pack. This is that for you pack that we have kind of been mentioning in the last couple of videos. But it's 150,000 coins and it's it's not worth it um, at all. I mean, yeah, one card, 86 plus. But you can see these packs are starting to get bigger. Even like the promo packs for Trailblazers in here. 200k pack, which includes 50 items, right? Four guaranteed 
guaranteed to be 85 plus. EA starting to ramp up those packs because they're starting to put out bigger SBCs, require more fodder, and that's kind of how it goes, right? The bigger the packs, the bigger the SBCs. That's just kind of how this market moves. And with the SBC that we had and all the other factors, the market is absolutely in the mud, guys. I know it's not a fun feeling. Let's talk looking at these prices and seeing how much the market is dropping off, especially if you're somebody who owned some of these cards that are now down, some of them over 50% in value over the weekend. Guys, like, yes, Sophia Smith on Wednesday, Thursday, after Rivals Rewards was 330K. She's now 140K. That is a insane drop. I know she was inflated because of the Alex Morgan links and the Swanson and the Dunn. I totally get that. Her card's down a lot extra. A lot of Serie A cards are down too. But even like Mickey Vandevin, if you bought him on Thursday, bro was 34,000 coins and now he's 19K. That is a insane price drop off in just a couple of days. This is the real true first big market crash of the year. It's something that's gonna happen many times throughout the year though. And it's gonna suck especially if you hold cards and you're not expecting it. We talked about it over the weekend, how I thought the market was kind of getting to a peak point and how I thought that maybe it was time to sell a few of those cards. And if you were able to do that, that's great. And you were able to sell out uh, before a lot of the prices continue to drop off. But uh, obviously I know some of you guys got stuck in it as well. And the feeling sucks. It hurts. It's like, oh man, like how does the market just do this? It's frustrating. And you're just like, man, it, it, I never want to buy a card for my team again. And I totally, totally feel that. But, um, it's something that we can really just learn from and take that and be like, you know what? I'm going to make the next move better. I'm going to keep doing what well, I'm going to learn something from this experience. And then going forward, I'm going to do something better the next time. That's kind of the way I think is the best way to view it. I made my big investment yesterday on the trailblazers cards. Did it work out? No. Did I make a few coins? Yes, but I lost a little bit more than I made. I sold all the Durans for just about what I bought them for. And I profit on about seven to eight of the Durans by uh, selling them at 42 that I bought for like 37 or 38. So I, I lost coins overall yesterday not a crazy crazy amount but like yeah the market was dropping and i was like seeing it i was like yo we gotta get out but don't worry we're gonna make them back there will be times to turn it around if you're already in on fodder it's gonna be uh really easy to make those coins back because it's just gonna keep going back up but i get it it's frustrating like yesterday again the sentiment from a lot of you guys in the comments and uh, on the Twitch stream as well, it's just like, Nate, what the heck has happened to this market? I buy cards, I come back on the game two days later, and my cards are down 40, 50% in value. Yeah, that's, that's frustrating, right? But again, I want to mention this. EA like this, whether it's planned and they put out content that they know is going to crash the market or it just happens for whatever reason, uh, this makes people lose coins. And that ultimately makes people, A, frustrated and potentially leave the game. But it also makes people run to the store to buy FC points to get coins back. Oh my gosh. Rafa Leal was 450K and he's now 300,000 coins. Serie A links and NWSL links, like the USA ones, because those were two very hyped links needed for squads, are dropping the most right now because they were overinflated, like the Smith and the Leal. The Tail Hernandez was very high as well. I know he's meta, but it was good. It was time for a drop. A lot of those cards were overinflated and overpriced. Um, but yeah, the price drops are crazy. So let's talk about why the market crashed as much as it did too, just to list a few reasons. I think honestly, guys, like I mentioned, prices were just too high on some players. Gold cards, I didn't feel like they were super crazy high. I really felt it on the icon, right? We needed a market correction. With the way the market is set up this year, though, the market could sustain those really high prices for a longer period of time. Ooh, that's a really good bid price on Zola. Well, it used to be. How much is Zola these days? He's, he's still a million coins. That's crazy because Zola, uh, that's he's up a ton. So icons are still actually holding their prices better than other cards are on this game, but definitely not all of them are. But prices, honestly, were a bit crazy on some of those cards, even some of the out-of-pack specials. Like if you guys look, Shua Many from the Total Rush team, was that team one? Shua Many from Total Rush team one went from 530K at his lowest to 730K in nine days that's a that's kind of crazy but that just is a testament to how many coins are on this game at the moment but i think some cards were overvalued that's reason number one reason number two is the evo content we had five evos dropped in two days a couple of them paid and a couple of them dropping some cards that are comparable and competitive with some of the players that you're using in your team right whether it's a hero maybe whether it was an informed player and of course evos are more emotional and you focus on those so when you're doing an evo it's obviously going into your team and replacing somebody that you had in your squad 
So that's one of the reasons the market's dropping right now. And then Call of Duty, I, it's got to be mentioned. This is a big weekend for a, a big game of Call of Duty that was released. I don't think it's the main proponent of why the market crashed as much as it did, but I think it's a part of the reasoning for sure. Maybe people that are just like getting off the game, selling their cards and going to play in uh, Call of Duty. That's definitely a reasoning. I don't think it's the biggest one again, but it's there. And then also... This happens every year to an extent at some time in late October, early November. This is Salah this year, right? Prices have been stable-ish, but he's definitely been trending down if you look at the graph, which is how it always is. Last year, though, Salah, if you take a look at this, was 273,000 coins. In Friday, November 3rd was the date last year where the market really started to tank. And by the next week after that, he was 100 and 40k so 10 days took him to go from 273 down to 140 and this year salah has gone from 260k to 160k in three days so it's been a very abrupt and a very sharp drop off in the market this year but that is just the state of the market right now here's what i'll tell you guys if you want to buy somebody for your team let's say it is mo salah it's kind of just like bargain deals out there right now yeah he's down bad he's down a lot in price and if you're like nate i lost a few coins but now i can afford some of these crazy players for my team have at it go buy the card that you want to use try the players out and have the fun never going to turn down any of those opportunities especially if it's going to make you maybe rank up in division rivals it's going to be easier to afford some of these better players now to build up teams so if you have coins and you were maybe able to sell before the crash or you just are able to afford new players now and better players like Go at it. Have fun. But I would say the market's still going to be unstable with the hero refresh that's happening today with the icon pack being such a big SBC that's going to draw so many people to it. I would just say that the market's probably going to rise up a little bit today. I have invested. As you can see, my coins are very low. I've invested again to try to make back some of my losses yesterday. And that's the best thing that I can say, too, if you're going to be on the market and at least care about trading a little bit is when you get hit and when you're down, like maybe taking a quick break, but also be realizing like, all right, getting back into it is one of the best things that you can do, in my opinion, uh, and learning from the mistakes, because that's going to help you become a better market uh, surveyor in the future and analyzer yourself as you watch prices. Like one of the reasons I bought this Zay Roberto at 640,000 coins yesterday is because he dropped down to a price that was much lower than where he was last week, even before rivals. He was 680k last week before the rivals rewards boom, and he went up to 755. I saw him at six. 40 like right here on stream or right after the stream and i was like bro that's too cheap so i picked him up at 640 sold him at 690 he's still like 680 690 will he go back down to 640 probably by the time we get to wednesday but that was just like an opportunity for a really quick flip that i found of a rare card who's still very meta and very in demand that dropped off just a ton it's more about the percentage that that player dropped off than just the specific player himself he's a meta popular player and he dropped off like lower than where he was last week and still people want to try him out and use him so that is one thing that i would tell you to watch out for in terms of the trading but again i think once we get to wednesday guys the market's probably going to drop off once again i do think that we are going to have some cards rebound back today as people see the panic and the dust probably the best way to say it is that the dust settles from a big market crash like this is that you see prices kind of hit a low point and the panic ends the people that are selling ends and then of course today we've got foot champs rewards that are all paid out and what we've seen recently on mondays is the market does have a little bit of a rise that's one of the reasons why i bought some cards what i would tell you to do if you want to buy something or make a smart buy for a team is maybe not look at gold cards although you might be able to afford a crazy one now and that's fun to try out and that's fine just don't hold on to it for long but look for like maybe one of the trailblazer cards who is maybe another reason why the market's dropping off so much these cards look pretty cracked a lot of people want to try out a gabrielle or a bastoni or maybe they want to try out the new anthony robinson or maybe the urente card he could move today stanway and hemp they do look decently cheap i was burned on these cards yesterday so i'm really not invested in them at the moment but look at the rare stuff like out of packs cards trent one of the most popular right backs slash cdms in the game he was 420k he went down to 350 he's still 350 do i think he's going to go back to 420 absolutely not but could he go back up to 380 to 390 absolutely could um some of the other total rush cards from team number two would be a good place to look too verts is really rare he fluctuates a lot links to the rafinha sbc this Lewandowski, if he goes any lower if i had coins i would be looking into him he was upwards of seven it was 810k yesterday 
he might go to 800,000 coins again because people are building out squads with the new Rafinha. I would be careful with midfielders, especially French ones, because Zaire Emery, he's down a lot, right? Because of the Sissoko. He could bounce back just up a little bit off of rarity too. But you know what? Just be a little careful with some of those items, but focus on the rare, the, the heroes that maybe somebody can afford. Now, I just bought a smaller rack for 248,000 coins, 249, because I was like, man, smaller rack was still... I think 300,000 coins or 290k last week uh, before the Rivals Rewards period. And dropping off that much in such a short amount of time is crazy. So I picked him up at 240. Looks like he's still 250 to 260. I'm hoping that people are like, oh my goodness, I can afford Smolarek who wanted to buy him. And he's just a rare hero card in general. So we rebounds back up a little bit. And I'm hoping that is the type of movement that we see today on this market. But again, it's probably quick flips only because we've got the hero pack that is coming today. So that is a very long market yap. But if you focus on out of packs, rare special cards, those are the ones that are going to hold their price the best. Road to the knockout icons heroes in forums and even some of the total rush cards from this last week's promo those are going to be the ones that are easiest to trade because they're rare and people like the special versions right gold cards kind of in the mud they're out of the picture now the new special cards are taking over now let's talk about monday content today on this game of course the hero pack that we mentioned watch the fodder go up probably going to have a little bit of a market dip after content but i don't think that this hero pack has near as much hype as the icon pack does now that they are both out but it'll still be completed by a lot of people today and also we have the potential for upgrade packs will it be the 80 plus combo will it be the 78 plus double or will they maybe give us our first player pick of the year? We shouted that last week. It didn't happen as a guess. Maybe I'll guess again this week. Maybe we get our first 75 plus player pick because the uh, other upgrade SBC content has been so hype. We'll see if we get that. That could be something to happen today too. But I'm not expecting too much else. There is a leaked SBC uh, for a showdown. It should be our first showdown SBC of the year. Ugarte and Caicedo for a game that is happening on the 3rd of November. That's upcoming Sunday. So like six days from now, it's a long ways away. But this could be an SBC that we see at some time, some point this week. I wouldn't really recommend it coming today, or I wouldn't think that it would come today, especially because I don't even know if the showdown card designs are added into the game. That would be something that we would have to see 100% added to the game before these cards would be dropped in. I'm checking right now inside of the quality of the menus. Is there a showdown card in here? I don't see one. So yeah, these are not added into the game yet, or at least they're not showing in the game. So I don't think we would get that SBC today. Probably looking at like a Wednesday, Thursday, maybe a Tuesday at the earliest. Just wait for that. Foot scoreboard will tweet out when those card designs added to the game. That is the only leaked SBC that we have as of right now. But Mondays are usually pretty quiet. So even the fact that we have that of uh, SBC refreshing today is pretty interesting. I got to go play to get some Joe Bellingham progress to get my daily wins. Actually, today, everybody gets an 80 plus times 10. If you've been playing games daily with the Trailblazers win daily games objective, that's actually kind of cool. So I got to get this one done. This is day three from Sunday. Day four is today on Monday. So that's actually a pretty big one. That's the pack that I think most people are interested in from this and uh yeah we're gonna have some champs rewards to open up today on stream we're gonna have those objective packs to open up as well and hopefully the rtg can get a big boost and i, I will be doing i will be doing this icon pack i'm committing to it at this moment in time uh, i'll do it once though i'm not gonna do it once and then do it again i'll probably just do it once we'll see what we can finesse see what we can get if we get super lucky we get super lucky but yeah, that is a bit of an expensive icon pack. And if you can't swing it, I would not say you have to swing it. I think it's up there in price that it's in a it's at a position in price where it may not be worth it for some people to complete, depending on how many coins you have. And it's not out for forever long to try to get it done really quickly either. So if you want to save up your rewards for that and do it after like rivals rewards and champs, then absolutely go for it. But I'm gonna try to get it done here in the next couple of days, especially with implementing maybe a little bit of coin spend, but not a whole lot. So, guys, I think also I just remembered this. The light in the back has been green because the market has been going up. And I just thought of this. We should probably turn it to red because the market has been going down so much. Let's do this. Let's turn it to red if I remember how to do this correctly just to end the video. I know you guys are like, Nate, stop yapping. Boom. Red. Okay. It's going to be red now for the stream today and uh, maybe for this next couple of days that the market's been dropping so bad. It also fits the Trailblazer vibes. Anyway, guys, have a great start to your Monday. I will see you in the Twitch, Twitch stream today. That link is down below in the description. Make sure I check out the links in the description as well for the 
uh, offers with the um, getting FC25 and supporting me through the supporter creator code that is new to EFC25. But if you enjoyed this one, drop thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Food Account. See you guys in the stream today. Peace.